All right, real quick today, I'm gonna to show you how to lap valves in your cylinder head. So in this case, this is a China bike cylinder head that was ported by Henner. So you'll need valves and a head, obviously. You'll need some lapping compound and you'll need a little bit of oil. So for speed purposes, I've already done most of this ahead of time. Okay, set the camera down. Here you got your valve. Got a little bit of compound in three different spots. You don't need a lot of it. Got a little bit of electrical tape. You're gonna wrap that around the top of the stem for the method that I'm going to use for the speed of this video. So you're going to put oil up and down around here real thin so there's no resistance. Insert your valve. Into the cylinder. I'm going to use a little drill, low speed, low power, just a little Milwaukee M12. You can see there's a little bit of tape around the stem, and it's hooked up to the drills. Chuck. Tightened, ready to go. So the whole goal here is you want the valve and the valve surface along with the cylinder head surface to be perfectly even. You don't want there to be any little imperfections, any little craters, grooves, whatever you want to call it. That way you have the valve fully seal, fully seat, and you have all your compression. This is real quick and easy. Doesn't really matter which direction you set the drill. Could be forward, could be reverse. I'm gonna bring the valve back until it meets the head. In this case, you're going to want to make sure that the drill is perfectly even so it's not contorting the valve in one direction or the other. Personally, I recommend doing this by hand if you've never done this with a little suction cup on this side. Spin it by hand one way, spin it by hand backwards. You'll hear the grit kind of in a sanding action and once the grit lets up, you let the valve come back out. You might have to add more compound. You might not, because it might be done. So. Real carefully here, we're just spinning the valve. I'm gonna rotate it the other way now. Pop the tape off. Wipe off the compound. Nice shiny valve. The little bit of blur that you see, that's from the light that's right above us. And the residue left over from the compound. You can see the valve surface is nice, smooth, and shiny. Sit this over here. Whenever you're done, you want all this to be gone. You'll want to wipe it down with some acetone, brake parts cleaner, whatever it is you got something strong to remove this abrasive material. And 
try to get this in there. Now you can see the surface of the head is also perfectly smooth. So the valve is mated to the surface and you're good to go. So that's all. Uh, this will be a two part video. I'm gonna have to make another one on actually assembling the head. In this case, it's a China bike head, a CG125 moved up to a 229 cc for a tbr7 a hawk 250 but i mean this is the same procedure for any head it wouldn't matter if it was a automotive different type of motorcycle dirt bike it's all the same real quick you just want to lap the valves i'm sure that in china when they built this bike they didn't do this um, technically you could get away without doing it but why bother so i hope this helps if you have any questions, please do ask. And like I said, if you've never done this before, I really don't recommend doing it with a drill. That's a little more tedious, and you could potentially grind it down too far, bringing your valve out of spec. So, have a good day. Thanks for watching.